Hello everyone, welcome you all to my YouTube channel, myself Piyush Kumar Verma and I welcome to all once again in this video because we are going to discuss about noise pollution part 4. So friends, uh, before starting the video, I would like to request those who are new at my channel, please do subscribe, share and like as well as if you think that uh, it is uh, helpful for you all, so definitely write a comment okay in a comment box as well as before watching this video i would also suggest you please go through the video description link where i have shared the previous noise pollution parts part one part two and part three okay from where you can check out and you can watch the previously i have videos that i have made on noise pollution okay so let us start today what we are going to discuss is noise level indices so what is noise level indices so different noise level indices uh, which are used to explain noise based on loudness pitch exposures and uh, duration of noise so the first one which we will cover is equivalent noise level means it's continuous a weighted sound that is equivalent in terms of noise energy content to the usual actual fluctuating noise levels existing at the location over the observation period it's also defined as the average rate at which energy is received by the ear during the period measurements now you can see the expression for equivalent noise level that is L equivalent is equal to 10 log 1 upon T bracket T1 into 10 to power LP1 upon 10 plus T2 into 10 to power LP2 upon 10 okay where the T represents total time as well T1 and T2 are the duration for which LP1 and LP2 continuous respectively what is the meaning of lp1 and lp2 so these are the noise levels for first source for time t1 and sound source for time t2 second sound source for now we shall talk about the percentile levels means ln values in noise so ln means where n may be anything from 1 to 99 is that noise level exceeded for n percent of the measurement time so by definition of percentile l1 must be greater than or equal to l2 which must be greater than or equal to l3 etc so it is often the case that only a few ln values are ever used so for example uh, how ln values look in graphical format i have shown you and you can see in the graphical format guys so this is your value of sound level in decibel and this is the time okay in minutes so what is the graph so graph you can see okay so for L90 values, suppose that that is the 61 decibel. So this is your L90 values, and this is your L50 values, that is the median values, and this is your L10 values, that is the suppose that very high noise level. Okay. So this is the graphical representation, and you will understand. So whenever you will be asked in terms of magnitude, so the value of L10 L10 is greater than value of L15 and which is greater than L value of L19 okay so keep remember question can be asked from this aspect okay so now to see it forward so let us discuss in detail about the L10 L90 or L15 so L90 is the frequently taken as the LP of the background level so L10, L90 is often used to give a quantity measures as to the speed or how choppy the sound fetch. 
The second point you can see. L10 is the noise level exceeded for 10% of the time of measurement duration. This is often used to give an indication of upper limit of fluctuating noise, such as that form from road traffic. And the third point you will see, L50 is the noise level exceeded for 50% of the measurement duration. It is the time uh, which can also be say it is the middle point and has been incorporated in some American community noise assessment and even in Indian town. Okay. So friends, now moving to the next. That is the second one. Noise indices. Background noise level L90. So I have already discussed about this, but still I repeat. When assessing the environmental noise, it is essentially or generally useful to establish what the general background noise level is in the area. So this is best represented by L90 or L90 dBA, which is level exceeded for the 90% of the time under consideration. So now next noise indices that is correlated noise levels or LCN. Okay, it is represented by LCN. Okay, keep remember. So it is used to incorporate noise sense value of the sound and correction are applied to measure noise level to make allowance for some of the factors which ignores the person's reaction to the noise. Okay. So the next noise indices that is noise pollution level. So what is noise pollution level guys? So it is used mainly in commercial areas. So it can be calculated by this expression and the expression is LNP is equal to L equivalent plus 0.56 to standard deviation. Okay. The unit for noise pollution level keep remember is in decibel. Okay. So what is the LEQ? So LEQ is equivalent noise level and SD is standard deviation. So friends, one should one point you should note whenever we are uh, we have been given question like to find the thickness of the insulator or noise barrier okay uh, so in any question so for that you should apply this formula and this formula is r is equal to 10 log p1 upon p2 so when we are going to apply when if there is to find the thickness of a noise barrier this formula should be used and what is the meaning of capital R so capital R is equal to thickness of insulator or noise barrier okay and P1 and P2 are the sound pressure levels at the source site and opposite site okay and the ratio of P1 upon P2 is called either transmission ratio or transmission coefficient now the next one Next indices is noise number indices that is NNI. It is used for aircraft noise based on combined effects of loudness. We can say individual aircraft and number of flights during the specified period. How will we calculate NNI? noise number indices so with the help of this expression nni is equal to lpn plus 15 log 10 base and n minus 80 okay this formula which is used for finding noise number indices where lpn is logarithmic average of the maximum perceived level attained and finally the mac number there is the last the ratio of the speed of aircraft to the sound is called Mach number and the Mach number allows to define flight times, which compressibly affects so very slowly. So see we can say if m is greater than 1, m is equal to 1 and if m is less than 1. So we just categorize if it is greater than 1 that is the 
condition of a uh, very very uh, we can say the speed of sound is normally 332 meter per second i think you know okay so if the speed of aircraft increases with comparative to noise or the sound speed so we will say that Mach number is greater than 1 and in this case no uh, that can be the we can say 